Dakota, nice to finally meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too, man. I saw your uh, your reaction on YouTube. I thought that was pretty deadly. Oh, sick. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool, actually. I didn't. I don't know. I, I don't know who watches my stuff most of the time. So it's actually kind of cool that you actually got a chance to watch it. Yeah, um, and I liked your thoughts. That's good. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Um, I guess just to to just to get it off, like a couple of quick questions, like because I don't know nothing about you. <laughs> I, I know a little. I know a little bit about Amber and Dan, but like, but you in particular, um, you grew up in in Arizona. Is that correct? Yeah, I grew up in Arizona. Um, I kind of played music as a kid, and then um, towards uh, right at the end of high school, me and my family uh, we moved to Nashville to play music out there. And uh, oh. so I lived in Nashville for a few years, and then just recently moved to, uh, back to New Mexico here. Nice. And what kind of music did you play? Uh, we could found kind of a country Americana, uh, occasionally hybrid kind of tunes, but mostly kind of a uh, country, but not not the annoying country, the good country. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Kind of maybe some Johnny <laughs> Johnny Cash inspiration type stuff. Yeah, Johnny Cash, yeah, Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings. I dig it. No, I I play too. Not probably not as well as you, but uh, I oh. played a lot. Back home in the res, it's all country, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, but like the other question I had, because I know this is, uh, is this like your first role ever? Or is it like the first major role you've ever had? This is my first acting role, uh, period. And um, I was just kind of out living in uh, Nashville playing music. You know, I was not a glamorous life. I was working at TJ Maxx too, you know. Um, and I answered an open casting call from this Canadian guy just about a, a small part in some movie. And then that never happened. But then I got a random email from a casting agent uh, who got my email via the other thing. And she asked me to audition. So I Zoom auditioned, I Zoom auditioned. And then I ended up in LA um, and just kind of the stars aligned and I got this role. Uh, so I'm just forever excited about it. Yeah, that's that's actually really sick. <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> kind of the, the, stars, the stars aligned for you. Um, oh, thank you, brother. And the, I guess the other big question I have for you is like, you know, because like, what what is your your tribal affiliation? So I'm a descendant of Oke Wingate Pueblo on my mother's side. I've also got a little bit of uh, Apache on my mother's side, and, nice. uh, and a couple other things. I'm pretty. I'm one of those Southwestern mixed kids. Uh, and my dad's yeah. mostly white, uh, so I kind of look more like a like I'm Cree or something. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> no, so I kind of fit I, in with them Cree boys in the movie. Yeah, no, I look, uh, I look pretty Mexican. <laughs> hey, that's all right, man. You look good. No, that's cool though. So like, I guess for you though, like, uh, what was it like for you personally, you know, being someone who is native descent playing a native character in like this big of a film, like how, how was that oh. been for you personally? It was so exciting for me, you know, you know, because I've always kind of identified with it growing up just being as that's, you know, of, of the cultures that I am, that's kind of the one that I most resemble. Um, yeah. uh, but, you know, I grew up in northern Arizona. Most of my friends were Navajo. And, you know, you, you watch these movies, you know, throughout time of, of natives, and they're always kind of getting things a little bit wrong. You know, you're like, you know, Navajos wouldn't be wearing that, or these guys wouldn't be wearing that, or these guys wouldn't be in this area. And um, so to have a movie made with Jane, you know, Comanche woman herself as the producer, making sure things are historically, you know, correct via the regalia or, you know, uh, what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of tools they're using was just an honor for me because I don't, I mean, any, you know, for, for such a small percentage of the population, they're not usually represented correctly. And that always has bothered me. So just for, for me, it's been an honor. Yeah, I remember I watched the um, John Wayne's The Searchers when I was in film school. And it was just really funny seeing like, it's supposed to be like, you know, a Plains tribe. Yeah. And like you had the main antagonist, like a white guy with like war paint on. And, like, <laughs> and then they're like in Monument Valley. And like, a bunch, you see a bunch of uh, the extras are like in Navajo regalia, but then like yeah. the lead guys like in Plains regalia is like really random and i just yeah i i totally get what you're saying though like yeah um, and if for you though like if you could like let's say if you could either make or participate in or watch like any movie that features native characters other than the one that you've already been in so far like what type of movie would it be i would love to see 
I mean, well, like you know, natives they kind of they get kind of cast so niche, like you know, it's always them, you know, with war paint and regalia and and doing their native thing back in the 1800s or modern days, you know, kind of the same thing. But I would love to see a, a native just playing the main character of a movie that's not so niche, like uh, you know, I would love to see a native Jedi. I would love to see, uh, you know, I would love to see a native playing a, you know, a cop in LA or some crap, you know, like just something totally different than what we've seen before, just to prove that they can, you know, we can be cast as the the regular role, just like anybody else, you know. Yeah, and that's that's been done, but not as the main character. Uh, yeah, West, for real. West West Duty was in Heat, and uh, Adam Beach was in Suicide Squad, but like. It's like they're side characters, you know? Yeah. Uh, no, I see what you mean, though. Like having like a main character, just like allowing them to just be and, and without having all that, you know, all the, the stereotypes on top of it or making it super cheesy, you know? Yeah, for real. For no, real. no, I, 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 totally, I totally get you. And I guess my last question for you, though, is, you know, for being someone who is super new to the industry, do you see yourself continuing on and and either acting or producing or writing or anything like that? Oh, I definitely it's it's something I definitely want to continue in. I've always been interesting or interested in in, in filmmaking. I was kind of really interested in, in, in camera work uh, in the past. I used to kind of do some amateur stuff just for myself mostly. Uh, you know, just looking at you know certain shots and color grading and. Um, and also, uh, just the writing in general, I think I would be really interested in. Um, I've always thought it'd be co- it'd be cool to see like a like a native gunfighter, you know, like in a in a western, you know what I'm saying? Like, because um, you I don't know, just off the wall stuff like that. But I definitely s- s- see uh, hopefully a future in this if if uh, they'll let me. <laughs> no, no, I, I I totally get it, man. I I'm all for the wild. Uh, the wild stuff, uh, you know, something like um, Dark Tower, but make it a native character, like yeah, something fun like that. For well, sure. Dakota, it's actually really nice to really get to actually know you, and um, I'd love to just talk with you down the road again sometime. And uh, of course, you can follow me on Instagram and all that. But um, it was really nice. It was really nice to get like a fresh perspective from somebody who hasn't done this before. Oh, and uh, I, I wish you the best of luck, man. Like this is a big step in the right direction for all of us, you know, Thank uh, you so much, speci- bro. especially for young, young kids and, and, you know, for the misrepresentation we've had for so long, like you're, you're definitely making history here. I want you to know oh. that <laughs> you're making Thank history you so much, here. Bro. And I yeah. want you to know, man, I really appreciated your, your work on, on YouTube. I mean, everything was just so professional. You, 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 you're, it's just nice to see a guy who, who's got, you know, you can tell he's got a brain, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just did such a good job. Like me and my family are sitting there watching. They're like, man, he does a good job. And uh, so I, well, I just want to encourage you, bro. You did, you did fantastic. And you're, you'll continue to do great. No, thanks. Thanks, man. It was um, really good to talk to you. And hopefully we can talk again soon. Definitely, bro. So nice to meet you, man. Yep. I'll talk to you later.